SMT Nation, what is going on? It's your boy, the SMT. We're going to take a look at a Dish Wireless Project Genesis story coming from Mike Dano of LightReading.com. You guys can check him out there at the website because he's a big-time contributor as well as he's got a Twitter account. And I do follow his page. It's very active, a lot of stuff on telecom and wireless. So do check him out. Uh, the premise of this story, the potential for an integrated cellular network that leverages terrestrial cell tower infrastructure combined with satellites. I think the fact that this is now coming up as a potential way of creating this, this hybrid cellular network seems like an incredible idea. Who has the potential combination to do a terrestrial network using both and leveraging satellite as well as terrestrial tower sites? It's Charlie Ergen, and it's Dish Wireless with Project Genesis. So the two parts to Project Genesis and, you know, what you see with Dish Wireless and is Dish Network and all of the other uh, satellite assets that they do possess. So we're talking about Echo Star and Global Star and, and some other company acquisitions that they made in acquiring licensing. So Charlie Ergen, who is the president and majority shareholder of the Dish company, he's the majority voter, you know, being that he does own all of these shares, huge uh, ownership stake in the company. And it's really all about spectrum licenses and the potential there is massive. So you think about the use cases, we've already clearly emphasized on my channel the mobility piece, but now recently it's been more about like the whole concept of portable and fixed wireless access. I think in the case of like with EchoStar, they have these incredible valuable assets and the two gigahertz spectrum licenses this puts it right around the PCS AWS frequency range. PCS at 1.9 gigahertz, AWS I think at 2.1 gigahertz. Kind of sandwiches right in between there, so it's going to act like that. All right, so we're talking about propagation characteristics that are very similar. And with tower grids already kind of built for that type of propagation and, you know, like how the towers are are spaced out for, you know, coverage, it makes total sense. This is S band uh, it would be transmitted as band 40. In their case, it would probably be N40 as 5G. They also acquired a company in 2019 to obtain more of these licenses. And these licenses would essentially give them extended global reach. So this is not just a domestic thing. This is not just about the U.S. They clearly have a global potential. And they went ahead and actually bailed out a couple more companies that also own more S-band licenses. So this is not new. This appears to have been something very strategic of Charlie Ergen. I think, you know, a lot of people speak to his shrewd nature and his ability to negotiate and leverage and squat on Spectrum on all these things, but the potential is incredible. I think it's huge here. Uh, this is a huge, wow, I didn't even know that all this had been going on for the last few years because I wasn't really paying attention. Here on the channel, we focus completely on, you know, terrestrial cellular. But this is all fair game. I mean, this doesn't even take into account the massive capacity potential of the 6 gigahertz and 12 gigahertz licenses that DISH does possess in satellite. Because again, those can be used for transmission. You know, I, I'm assuming that some things could happen potentially in re-auctioning and, and other things. But I mean, the, the, the higher frequency stuff, right, in satellites, you, satellite use cases, and then the S-band being a legitimate ground radio frequency makes it immediately usable, no auction changes, no rearrangements. This is really a unique potential uh, way of doing networking that I think DISH can leverage. You know, a lot of people have speculated, oh, well, what if something were to happen between a traditional, you know, wireless telecom and mobility uh, mobile network operator if they were to combine with Starlink or something like that? And I think that's the potential here. That's what we're talking about. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And, and as, if you maybe called for this a while back and you know postulated that this could be something legitimate in the future a while back, let me know. Sound off in the comment section below. Tell me what you think of the potential of a combined hybrid networking strategy from DISH. Again, with all these traditional radio frequency licenses along with what they already have and the potential with satellite. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Go ahead and sound off in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hashtag Dish5G. If you're a real one and you watch this all the way through, 
hashtag dish 5G. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new and have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.